I am Luis Alejandro Romero Soto. I am an engineer and biotechnologist and work for UNSA in Bolivia and completing a PhD in Lund, Sweden. I was still living with my parents in Bolivia at the time, so I don't have much recollection of it. As a child, I had faces. On one side, I wanted to be like my father, who's a chemical engineer. On the other side, I loved nature, and I wanted to know more about her features. As I grew up, I wanted to become both of them. So I'm more or less a hybrid bioprocess engineer. And honestly, I love being so. My research breaks the wall of petrochemical polymers. As a human race, we have had a disastrous effect on the planet. We have made entire ecosystems disappear. We have used our resources unsustainably. Who is to blame for the situation? We will focus on petrochemical polymers. About 4% of total oil per year is used to produce the monomers plastic is made of. Another 4% is used to generate the energy for these processes. These plastics need a mix of chemicals to give them color, stability or resistance. Problem is, a lot of these chemicals are mutagenic, carcinogenic or pollutant. The worst part is that they are very stable, which means that from the moment they are produced, they will be with us for a long time, damaging a lot of aquatic life in the process. What can be done? We propose the transformation of agro-waste through bioprocesses to produce biopolymers as a basis for bioplastic production. As a country, we are in a strategic position for this because we are the second largest producer of quinoa in the world. Post-harvest season, we have a lot of agro-waste that is not used currently. We are planning to transform this and to be used by microorganisms. We have unique ecosystems in Bolivia, like Salario Uni, where evolution has been forced on microorganisms in order to develop strategies for survival. And this, by coincidence, means more production of biopolymers. By adapting these microorganisms to work in the lab and optimizing the bioprocesses, we produce biopolymers that will be the basis for bioplastics with similar properties to petrochemical polymers, but with the huge advantage of being from renewable sources and most of all, biodegradable. Most biopolymer projects have to deal with sustainability and economic feasibility. We tackle these issues right off the bat because we are basing the project on quinoa agro-waste, which is very abundant and very cheap. Also, we have novel microorganisms to carry out the project. In my case, I would say there are many components that fit to reply this, but we were going to mention the integration between the biotechnological processes that are inside the project the agro-waste pretreatment, the novel microorganisms, and the biopolymer that we produce. We are aiming to mitigate the negative problems of petrochemical plastics, and that's a benefit in itself. Furthermore, we are aiming to introduce circular bioeconomy, which will provide jobs and will enhance the life quality of society. Research in general means lying awake at night, but in a specific, it's about designing the right bioprocesses for the microorganisms. If we don't do that, there will never be a chance to realize the full potential that we have. 